allow me. I strike first. Watch us. Nope. I think we, we uh, we started. I need to. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you okay? Need a ride or something? <laughs> Pirates. All right. Yeah, it's showing you unstable uh, connection. So we'll so, see if it keeps on. Uh, or not. See, let's we'll see what happens. Space for artifacts. Let's see. I think. I think everybody might be. I have maxed that out already. Twenty. Oh, she has nothing. So what are her other stuff? Twenty, twenty, twenty. I just randomly put. Wait, she might need crit. So. Wait, why was okay? Let's see. Pyro damage. Is that the only uh, pile damage stuff? I put a red. Wait, which piece does she have? Oh. So this should be good too. Alright, so four set would be good. So, alright, let's level this up a little bit since we, get, we had to make some room for artifacts. Not equip it before. Now let's see, switch. Come on, crit damage. Attack. Yeah. I guess that will work for a now. Finally went up. Let's see, did the. Uh, let's see, did the. Uh, I think we're okay. Still slowly unstable, but we'll see. Crit. No HP. Attack. Okay. I freed up some space. Oh, I just needed one space for one, okay. Huh? It's the Alcor. Oh, and look, Kazuha's over there. Good timing. I was just reflecting on my life so far, and I think I'm all up to date. So, what do you think of the Kaidahara clan's bonsai? Let's see. Let's See, it looks like it carries a lot of history. Old things often carry around some form of regret. The Kaidahara clan is no exception. But that's okay. Partings produce reunions. If not at home, 
than in a distant land. Oh, this mirage is quite fascinating. It presents life like a stage play, with each scene more captivating than the last. They say that astrologists have seen it all. So if this mirage intrigued you, that says it was a worthwhile encounter. <clears throat> How fares thy mood? Main Fräulein inquires as to your present well-being, Lord Kazuha, hoping your heart is not too filled with sorrow. There's no way anyone could be cheerful after reliving all that! <laughs> you have a point. Thank you all for your concern. Fortunately, all those things are past and gone now. When I first saw this bonsai, I thought of the possibility that I needed to wait for you. Perhaps that was why I had to be here on my own. There was supposed to be a dead plant in that flower pot. However, there was nothing there. While we were separated, I had a lot of time to reflect. I think I finally understand now. The mirage is me. The empty flower pot represents the state of my heart. When the heart is clear, the world is too. And when the heart is unladen, the same is true. Clear and unladen. That describes how I feel right now. Although I would not say there are no regrets in this. To be unladen is also to be empty. That's why this bonsai appeared as part of my mirage. It gave me a chance to fulfill my wishes. I never realized that deep down in my heart, I also wanted to make my own bonsai. Perhaps this is what it really means to keep Kaidahara tradition alive. Have you finished doing what you wanted to do, Kazuha? Yes, you could say that. You saw my past self, and said goodbye to him. Only when you witness my whole story does it become truly consigned to history. What really matters in life is not how strict we are with ourselves, but the connections we make along the way. There's no future for those who linger on the past. So please believe me when I say that I've already come a long way. And I intend to go further still. I will always treasure your support. I often travel during storms, which means my eyes are often blinded by the rain. Many times, I couldn't even see what was right in front of me. One day, I finally reached the top of the mountain. I looked out with the clouds beneath my feet and only the gentle breeze murmuring in my ears. The highest mountain is a clear and enlightened heart. Here, there is no self, no hatred, no regrets, and no desires. Let's embark on a journey, for I am the breeze. We will meet again, no matter how far along the road. Life has just begun, and maybe the whole world can be my home. Everyone must be exhausted. Let's call it a day. <sighs> What's wrong? You don't look too good. Nothing. Perhaps today's arduous journey is making me feel slightly out of sorts. <laughs> Main Fräulein, are you all right? Oz, curb thy curiosity. Uh, yes, Main Fräulein. Hmm. I'll see if I can find something for us to eat. Go ahead and rest if you're feeling tired. But anyone who's up to it is welcome to help out. I'll help. Oh, me too. Everyone's volunteering to help. Maybe we should too. 
count us in. Whoa, hey! <laughs> I appreciate the enthusiasm, but uh, her highness looks kind of gloomy. Mona, you two seem close. Why don't you keep her company for a while? You noticed it too. I was going to bring it up with you while we were preparing the food. In that case, yes, just leave it to me. All right, we'll prepare the food. Yep, this should be enough. We can grill these. Next time we pass one of those fish. campsites, I'll see if they have a cooking pot. We'd have some more variety then. Wow, that's such a nice idea. You might not be a chef, Shinyan, but you sure do know how to keep the diners happy. Oh, shucks, Paimon. It's no big deal. Just doing what I can. Even the crewmates of the Alcor consider Shinyan someone they can rely on. We feel the same way about you too, Kazuha. <laughs> we sure do. Hmm. Well, then, as a trusted friend, I have something I'd like to talk about. From what you've been saying, that miraculous mirage seems to have been based on my life story to date. It felt just like a dream to me. Maybe it is. Maybe it, repre maybe it repre represents your dreams. In other words, you've always wanted to make your own bonsai? Could that be it? All that was a means of granting me something I wished for? And since this happened to me, does that mean it could happen to everyone else too? Yes, I think so. I agree. But I wonder whose mirage we'll encounter next. <laughs> I'm actually kind of looking forward to my own mirage if it's a dream come true like you say. Wait, you actually want something like this to happen with you too? Oh heck, any mirage to do with me would probably be music related. <laughs> It'd be a good chance to showcase a few tunes. You mean you'd want to do a performance in there? Why not? I don't think any self-respecting musician could stay silent on these islands. Just look at this place. So much confidence and optimism. Shinyan rocks! Oh, um, uh, Traveler! Hey, Madly, thanks for the sub. Resub. How are you? Are you a pig? <laughs> <laughs> so silly. <laughs> you smell sweet like syrup. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> You're so silly. Aw, Jimmy, aw, they're gonna be piggy. Alright, Tilbur! <laughs> Molly, that was a cute uh, clip. Alright, take care, Manly. Have a good rest. Yeah. Thanks for the resub again. So, those strange houses today, huh? And, uh, a Mirage bonsai? Oh, basically, lots of weird stuff today. Um, do you think we should tell Venti about it? Let's give him a call. Probably drinking. This doesn't seem like him. Maybe he got distracted. <gasps> or he forgot to bring the bomb to his performance. <laughs> <gasps> or he got drunk and fell asleep under that huge tree. Hmm. Maybe we should try contacting him tomorrow. Travel. 
Traveler, Paimon. So here you are. Mana! <laughs> are you all done chatting with Fischl? <laughs> Close enough. She was a little downcast. I think it has something to do with the mirage we saw today. Fischl has been very excited about this trip from the start, but I have a feeling she doesn't want to see her own mirage. Why? It seems like this would be the kind of thing she really enjoys! I'm not sure at this stage, but I'll keep an eye on her. There's something else I wanted to tell you. I tried performing a divination again on the beach. My scry glass was still blurry, but I felt a force coming from within. I couldn't see its exact position, but I knew that it was changing. How could you tell that if you couldn't see it clearly? Hmm, how can I explain this concept to non-experts? Uh, oh, I know. It's like we're uh, sitting in a room and there's a crack in the walls. We don't know where it is, but everyone can feel the wind rushing in. Not only that, but the room is getting colder. Oh, Paimon gets it now! So you want to find where that crack is, right? What? You could say that. I need to see the crack first before deciding what to do next. <laughs> <sighs> Seems like similar things happen every time I'm with you. I'll attempt divination, read the signs, zero in on the target, then solve the problem. You're surrounded by all kinds of friends, secrets, and destinies. It's incredible. No, you're incredible! You helped Fischl and us solve that Leonard situation! Is that a good thing for an archaeologist? Wait, astrologist. All things considered, <laughs> I suppose. Let's hope we can all stick together and resolve this, like we did last time. When you say together, do you mean the two of you? Or all three of us? <laughs> okay, okay, the three of us then. Sometimes Paimon offers an insightful perspective that can be very helpful to me. Really? Aww, Paimon's starting to like you a lot, genius <laughs> astrologist Mona! Yes, that's the perspective I'm talking about. You'll never meet another astrologist as clever and charming as me. <laughs> yeah, everything about you's great. Except for, um, please don't laugh like Fischl again. Ever. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> Friends habits rub off on you when you spend a lot of time together, don't they? <laughs> uh, I'll keep observing the stars. Keep in touch, traveler. Unless we finish part two. I guess we open up these other stuff. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. All right, so let's do uh, the next uh, what part three? I have to wait. Okay, I have to wait next. To okay. Fast forward time. Did I say tomorrow? Or let's see if this works. Hopefully, next. Hopefully, it's not the next day. Did that work? Get up, lazy yep. bones! The sun's so high, it's right in your eyes! Come on, it's fine. I see it with my eyes closed. Yeah, that's why you couldn't see that the sun's in your eyes! I trust you slept well. I slept great. Sounds like the same story for everyone. I got up first today, so I took a walk around and picked some fruits for our breakfast. And Paimon's been waiting for you to get up so she can finally dig in! Huh? Fischl left? First thing in the morning? Yeah, she seemed unwilling to stay with us. She said she had some other work to do for the Adventurer's Guild. A likely story! What happened to coming here to restore the glory of the Immernachtreich? Now she has guild work to do all of a sudden? Alright, Paimon, keep it together. Judging by that look on her face, there was probably something on her mind. 
We tried sending Mona to comfort her like before, but she said Mona doesn't understand the work of the Adventurers Guild and can't go with her. She didn't even make up some excuse about the Immer Nachtreich to get some time alone? Huh. That's out of character for her. Then she must be feeling quite troubled. I'd love to help her as a friend, but she was right about one thing. We're going to explore another island today. Oh, is that so? Yep. Votes are in. It's unanimous. But it wasn't there for the vote. But I wasn't there for the vote. Oh, yeah, about that. Pamon went ahead and voted for you. She said since you're always together, her opinion counts as yours and vice versa. <laughs> well, you're an adventurer after all. Kinda knew you'd want to go exploring. Oh, well, guess this is happening now. The official said there's something she wants to investigate and suggested that we all go ahead in the meantime. She told me not to worry. She'll catch up with us when she's done. Despite her quirks, she's still an experienced adventurer. I think we should trust her. I haven't known her for long, so this is just an observation, but... It seems like she's struggling with some internal conflict. Hmm. That seems about right. In conflict with others, you either resolve it or let it be. But when the conflict is within yourself, it's much harder to do either. I've also had a time like that in my life, so I understand what she's going through. It may be best to give her some space. I agree. Still, it's a pity for today's adventure. Adventuring is always more fun when everyone's together. Chinyan always has great team spirit. Oh, one other thing. This morning, we saw a mirage on the island in the north. We can go take a look once you're done with your breakfast, Traveler. Save recent, save recent gameplay, button, Genshin Impact, 59 minutes and 58 seconds, recently created selected, L1 button, R1 button, player controls, skip forward 180 seconds, 3 minutes, resume, Button. I think that should be today's uh... Genshin Impact This island looks pretty normal I smell something burning on the wind my scribe glass is getting clearer, but I still can't see much. Hey, look what I found! It's a... Well, is it a drum or a plant? An instrument made of a plant? Hmm. Xinyan, do you think this could be your island? Oh, you mean this instrument could have been put here just for me? Okay, let me give it a try. Uh, hold on. When I touched the rock garden in the bonsai yesterday, we were all transported to another space. Xinyan, do you want to take some time first to get ready? Well, you're right, but it's all good. I'm always ready to make some music. Wait, so is this her story now, or...? Are you okay? Just as we thought. We've been sent to another place. Why does this place feel so bleak? Xinyan, are you sure this is your mirage? I think so, yeah, but you're right. Why is it so bleak here? Look, there's something really bright over there. It's almost like it's inviting us to go check it out. Okay, let's go have a look. This is too obvious! Surely it's gotta be a trap! That well may be, but there's also nowhere else for us to go. If this mirage belongs to Xinyan, 
I don't think we'll find any traps here. Now you're talking. You know that wouldn't be my style. Hmm. That makes sense. Uh, all right, let's go then. But let's also make sure to be careful. Okay, well, the Melody Harp is glow glowing, can be activated. An active Melody Harp will release sound waves that will cause any Melody Bloom within an AoE to fire notes. The notes fired off by the Melody Bloom can be transferred to the next Melody Bloom, which can change the flight direction of the note. Get close to the Melody Bloom to change the direction it is facing. Use the transfer of notes in this way to solve certain puzzles. Okay. What's this before? That way. Nice. Okay, is there anything? Okay, don't think I'm missing anything here. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> Alright, try that again. The door is locked. Let's see. Mona, do that thing where you turn into water and slide under. Keep your nonsense to yourself, thank you very much. Shinyan, why did you lock the door? <laughs> You'd think I'd know this. <laughs> oh, actually, I usually put my key under the flower pot next to the door, so maybe the key is nearby. Oh, is there a flower pot around here? There's no flower pot, but there is a flower. Mm -hmm. I guess it's worth a shot. Malamar popped in chat. Let's see, do I cab him? Oh, can't type. See, step on Jason Melody petals and light them up to awaken the Melody Harp. An awakened Melody Harp will give off a unique radiance. Some Melody petals have special functions. You can tell these apart with the special symbols they that they are marked by. Okay, so am I supposed to step on it? Step. Mm. Alright, hopefully this is the right thing since I didn't do the harp thing over there. Oh, so that, okay, so that's okay. That's what it meant. There. Okay, so I should that first to open the chest. Wow! So we did 
Oh, we, oh, oh, we did get the key. Oh, the puzzles in Shinyan's mind. Change that puzzles. that way. Well, right, this should be good too. <laughs> you flatter me. Oh, okay. This is our way back. Make it easier. <laughs> No, it's like a it's like a painting you just walk into. Okay. I guess we can fly over. Okay. Oh, it dried up. Did this so did this grow from yesterday? This is different. Hi. We touched those drum like plants growing on the beach outside and we're transported here. Uh, are you the owner of this place? This is the Hall of Music, and I'm merely its gatekeeper. Tell me, my friends, are you here to pursue the ultimate expression of music? Oh, you betcha. Then tell me, what do you hope to express with music? <laughs> the spirit of resistance. Right on, great answer. I'm so glad to hear that. I consider myself very lucky to meet another musician with the same ideals. Hearing giant flowers get along well with Shinyan. People who are easy to get along with make friends wherever they go. Well, if you've made it this far, you must wish to venture deeper into the Hall of Music. However, I must apologize. My singing voice is required for entry, but unfortunately, my pipes are a little dry. Are you alright? Do you need, uh, some cold medicine or something? It's just that I haven't had any glacial spring water in a very long time. If I could drink some of that, my voice would be rocked and loaded and ready to clear your path. Uh, glacial spring water? Yeah, with one sip of that, anyone could sing the most beautiful song. No matter if they were a weary adult, a sleepy bird, or even an ignorant child. Oh. Okay, I'll find some for you. Where is this spring? Oh, thanks. You're the best. Well, spring water helps plants grow up strong so they can scale the mountains that lie in their way. So, I imagine the spring can be found somewhere on the mountain range protected by plants. You mean we have to go hiking? Oh, Paimon thought some seawater would be enough. Uh, spring water and seawater could not be more dissimilar. Oh, but you may need my powers in order to see the spring. Give me your hand, friend, so that you can see through my eyes. Thanks. You shook my hand. Guess that makes this friendship official. Whoa, we're out! Ooh, it's much brighter here. I, I didn't mind that hot cave, though. Glacial spring water can be found on one of the mountains around here. Let's all look for it. Wait, how oh, can there a path. be light coming from below the ground here? Is this a water vein? Well, according to that flower, the water vein is related to the plants, and the plants will lead us to that spring. So I guess we should follow the water veins. Next going out the main group. Wait, no, that's, that was the main group. Let's see, this should be a new one. Was it this one? Kazaha? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, we'll just follow the waterway. 
wind. Stop. Hold the line. Four. Useless. <sighs> Brings a smile to my face. Time to go. Well, the flow of water is blocked here. Is it because of that pile of rocks? Let's remove them. Oh, wait, wait, the, what is, oh, okay. Da-da-da! Da-da-da! There's some music notes over there. We'll get back to that later. La la la! Oh, wait, what? What is a box? Okay, so I have to do that. Okay. So this thing, let's see. Where's it pointing to? Does this go over? Oh, that didn't wait, right? Oh, it does. Okay, there's one right there. Let's see if this works. Okay, nice. Oh, the water away. Jumpy, dumpy, go! Everyone. I found a note here. See, this series of islands is the most unique area I have cantered on this trip. It seems absurdly ordinary, but for the various mountains here, we have been hollowed out such as that change in their internal water levels will cause them to resound. At the same time, the water has crisscrossed, the mountains are linked. At high tides, the mountains will pay a preset tune together as they renaissance as one. I have never encountered the use of mountains, yet let alone entire island chain. As a magician instrument of titanic proportion, the designer of the setup must have a great ingenuity and also a pair of immensely skilled hands. I stay here for a while longer. To closely observe and record the geography and design of the mountains while well, listening to the music that they have made for various times of the day. The great creativity of the creator is blending nature and artistry together so perfectly leaves me frankly in awe. Good designs should never be lost and so I left these notes for any who should come by, come, come by after me. If you too have come to this place, rest a while on the mountaintop and let the tides make music for you. It is no easy undertaking to make nature itself lie beside you and sing to, to you. Indeed, it is a pock-making make deed. I hope that you too will enjoy the sight. P.S. This sheet of paper has been alchemically treated to be water and fireproof. Do not worry about the vicinity of the note. Just enjoy the music and the scenery. Obedo. Also, Obedo's been here. Oh. Well, so I, know that's he's, how it is. I know he's been here since I know, uh, we, he was in the last uh, Golden, <laughs> Golden Apple Archipelago uh, event. He's one of our friends from Mondstadt. He's an amazing alchemist who's visited this island before. He left this note here for future adventurers. Oh, so it's him. He's saying this whole island has been turned into an instrument? Amazing. And the underground water veins play an important part, too. Oh, maybe we need to clear all the water veins to play this island. Ah, uh, clean your instrument before the performance. Makes a lot of sense. Check. Oh, we read that. What's the sh oh, is that the shiny? Okay. So I guess I do. Okay, it's not here and here. Uh, we climb.
Nope, we're blocked off. Let's see, let's see. puzzles All right, so it's okay that's on let's see just have to climb up and dive into it these plants look a lot like the ones we saw in the cave follow the wind Brings a smile to my face. Let's see, where's everything pointing to? Oh, I have to do the dive in here too. Oh, yep, I don't think so. to bring the let's see hopefully this one works stabilize I guess it's the wait a bit timed it wrong Wait for that one to disappear. Oh, Pokemon in chat. Diggerbah. Solidify. Very nice. It's okay, marked, marked. On, go. One man's stone is nice, another man's gem. Let's see, turn it back. Okay, that looks good. One man's stove is another man's gem. Yeah, so where's this pointing to? Alright, looks good. Up. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Wait, the waterway is still blocked? Oh, okay. Let me just get the waypoint first. Draw water. This should be the glacial spring water we're looking for. So, if you drink this, you can suddenly sing like an angel? You should give it a try, if you're curious. Oh, no, 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 no. I I'm terrible at singing. It would be, um, extremely <laughs> embarrassing if it didn't work. Oh, Mona. I actually think you've got a sweet voice that's well-suited for singing. If you're interested, I can teach you a few things about vocals once we get back to camp. 
Oh, really? I... I'd love to, but you'd have to promise you won't laugh at me. Of course not. Everyone's gotta start somewhere, right? Right. Then maybe I can give it a try. Great! <laughs> but before that, we should deliver the spring water to that flower. Okay. Well, to re-enter the mirage, we just need to touch the drum on the beach again. Okay, we should, right? All right, let's go back to flower. I know I still have to do a lot of exploring once I uh, finish all these events. Let me check. Is there is, for this map? Does this show a percentage? Uh, okay, so it doesn't. Or unless I have to unlock everything for it to show the percentage. And I took the wrong team. This is the glacial spring water you were looking for. High quality oh, I'm H2O. I'm feeling a lot better now. Thank you very much. Now, I'll send you to your destination. Where did I... Wait, where did it take me? Okay, so that's not working. So it's, is that the door? Which... Okay, I guess I'll follow the... I think we've arrived at a mountain near Liyue. But it's so dark here. Wait, listen. There's a voice. Can you hear that? The reason the birds sing so sweetly is because they drink the spring water from up in the mountaintops. Xinyan. We're not singers in this family. None of us are. What makes you think you can be any different? Oh, so I just need to drink some of this spring water, and then I'll be able to sing? Oh, I'll be right back, Mama. You mustn't stay out so late in the mountains by yourself, child. You scared the bejesus out of me. Here, this is the spring water you were looking for. she run off to this time to find somewhere she could sing no doubt Ugh. she can't be persuaded and we can't stop her from walking out the door did you really have to lie to her like that? how was I supposed to know she'd go running off looking for spring water oh, when is she gonna come to her senses Get down from there! You can't set up a stage here! If you can't sing, you should be keeping your mouth shut, not putting on a public performance. Ugh. Don't tear down the stage! Let's see... It's pointing that way... Very good, where's the... Okay, that's pointing... Okay. Our parents. Again, my dear child. Why are you playing that crass instrument again? It's not ladylike. Oh, Shinyan, your mother has asked me to teach you some embroidery when I can find the time. Oh, it's an elegant and enjoyable craft. Just come to Annie's house whenever you're free. Quit making that racket by the side of the road. If you have to play, play something classy. What? Why are they being so mean? Oh, these people. Huh. Uh, that's it! Why are you not yelling back? What happened to your rock and roll spirit? <laughs> and now you're laughing? Aren't you mad? Sometimes it's hard to get mad when you hear the same thing a hundred times. <laughs> it's 
still. Thanks, Paimon. Uh, what? Auntie Jishan, how are you doing? Oh, dear child, I've been waiting to hear from you for a long time. This weekend, I'll be free. Auntie, stop thinking about me for a hot sec. Your stove is still on and you're cooking soup, right? Oh, so you see, it's all burnt. Oh, how did this happen? Oh, my. Uncle Jew, little Jew is playing in the mud by the river again. Didn't you tell him not to do that? What? That rascal is up to his old shenanigans behind my back again, is he? Oh, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Uncle Hi. I'll move my stage someplace else. But your musical taste needs to evolve if you want to keep up with the times. Maybe you didn't know, but even the most famous opera singer in Leo likes listening to my boorish music. What did you say? Is that true? You're not making this up, are you? <laughs> I'll have to look into this. Oh, they're all gone. See? Knowing the right words to say and when to smile can solve almost any problem. <laughs> if that's the case, then what's your <laughs> rock and roll spirit for? My rock and roll spirit isn't something I just use to win an argument. That'd be a real waste. Rock and roll is a revolution. Transforming your identity and destiny, saying goodbye to concessions and cowardice, it does them all. And most importantly, it lets you do it with art rather than words. My rock and roll has an unbreakable spirit, like a flame in a rainstorm that refuses to go out, or the magma that never stops boiling under the surface of the land. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go that way. Thanks for the look, Abby. There's a side path right there. What a great mindset you have. Uh, if anyone guitar. ever called me anything oh, less than a genius, I'd be furious. To... Really? I'm not tempted to I give it a shot. It. <laughs> so where's the hitting Mona is glaring oh. at me. <laughs> Paimon, there's a difference between embracing the spirit of rock and roll and Hopefully playing with fire. Back, yeah. To tell you the truth, I'm also starting to develop an interest I... in rock and roll. <laughs> Seriously? Well, this better not be a joke. Check before I head over. No, I'm serious. Rock and roll's ability to cultivate such a Christ, strong will in people is an incredible thing. Wait, am I going? Okay, I was going the wrong way. There's another. Wait, what's? Why is this like that? No. Hey, is that? Another door. More delightful individuals await us on the other side. I assume. Let me handle it. Piece of cake. Who is it? Miss, your hairstyle is really strange. <laughs> is that so? I think it looks really cool. Take a closer look if you don't believe me. Your hair sticks out from your head, and you wear spiky things in it. Nobody else has like that. Well, you're looking at it the wrong way. If I don't look like anybody else, once you've seen me, you won't be able to forget me, even if you try. You'll still recognize me if you ever see me again in the future. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Your clothes, hair, even the way you walk and talk. It's not just for the eyes of others. It's your style. So you should go with whatever you like. Really? But if I wore a jacket with a picture of a puppy on it, people would say, hey, Little they like stupid little puppies. Then you should ignore them. So, you like puppies, huh? I do. What about your friends? Well, yeah, they do too. <laughs> well, then your friends are gonna love that jacket. 
Okay. Uh, miss, how come you don't do your hair in a nice braid? People would love that. No, oh, I can't help myself. I just like the styles with personality. Ah, <sighs> plus I had no idea how so many people would dislike it before I started wearing my hair like this. So, why don't you change it now? Well, this hairstyle suits my music and my lifestyle. The regular ones are boring. They're so uninspired. Plus, they get in the way when I'm head bobbing away on stage. <laughs> if people don't like it, that's up to them. I ain't gonna change it. What about your friends? Do they not like it too? Of course they like it. They all say that they think it looks amazing. Your friends are nice to you. That's cool. <laughs> not like my friends. They left me here on my own. <laughs> oh, hey, hey now. Why are you crying? What's wrong? You can talk to me. Little Lulu and little Mung, they're ignoring me. We were gonna meet at the docks today, but they still haven't shown up. These kids are way too young to be standing each other up like this. No. Stay right here, I'll go take a look around. I'll bring them to you once I find them. Oh, okay. Thanks, miss. I'll never say anything bad about your hair again. <laughs> see? Now you're talking sense. I'll see you later. I think, uh, I think we heard the story before. I think, uh, he just, uh, went to the wrong location. Oh! Okay. Wait, how do I... How can I climb back up? Uh oh. Okay, let's see. Can I hop on the boat? Nope. Oh, there's a ramp. Wait, can I? I can't climb up. Little Ming. Excuse me, are you Little Mung? Little Faye is waiting for you at the docks. Oh, He's been waiting got another so Pokemon in chat. Tears about it. Oh, why is he so dumb? He could have just come here and found us. Oh, never mind. I'll go find him instead. He ran off. We should catch up to him. Little Lulu. Uh, excuse me, are you Little Lulu? Are you looking for me, miss? Didn't you promise to meet Little Faye at the docks? Why aren't you going to meet up with him? He's crying because he thinks you've abandoned him. Huh? Oh, that silly dum-dum. Why didn't he just come to look for us? We prepared a surprise gift for him. A surprise gift? How strange. You dum dum, we were preparing a surprise gift for you. We didn't think that you wouldn't come to try and find us, and definitely didn't think you'd start crying about it. I'm sorry for being such an idiot. No, I'm sorry. You're not an idiot. I guess we shouldn't have been so secretive about it. We didn't come to the docks to meet you because we wanted to give you a big surprise for your birthday. Huh? This is... We brought you loads of yummy lotus heads. And here's a handwritten birthday letter from me and Lulu, too. Uh, please don't call our handwriting ugly, okay? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Thank you. And all's well that ends well. It was all just a misunderstanding. <laughs> well, 
sometimes that's just what friends do. If my friends had ditched me to plan a surprise, I'd have gotten upset too. Is that a hint for us to prepare a surprise for you too? Very clever. <laughs> no, well, I was just speaking my mind. <laughs> I know. I was just joking, seeing if I could give you a fright. Uh, <laughs> everyone, Paimon's hungry. That rumble has no business being that loud. It's almost lunchtime, so how about we have lunch at my house? It's not far from here. So, even your house is in this mirage? <laughs> yep, I just noticed. There's the same road in here as the one that leads to my house in real life. Even though we're in a mirage, I reckon some things will always remain the same. In real life, after a bad quarrel with the neighbors or a disappointing show, the one place I'll always go is my house. Because, well, everyone has to go home eventually. So where's her house located? Wait, wrong way. So it's, oh. So let's see music, that, that, and all right, looks good. So more, wonder how many more chapters are left uh, for this event, story event. So I only remember Kazaha, Shenling. I'm not sure if there's any Please, other come in. people. I think the last one might be Mona. If I thank you for your hospitality. I wonder if there's one for oh, Traveler. Chairs. We can finally unwind for a bit. Huh? Uh, did you guys hear a sound coming from the other room? Oh, you all keep resting here. I'll go have a look. The lights aren't even on, and there's no one. Surprise! Whoa! Dun dun dun! Happy birthday! <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> what are you two doing? Why are you sitting in the dark inside my house? You scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> you, Jin, you were totally right. She does get spooked. It's your birthday, so we planned a surprise party for you. <laughs> You girls really shouldn't pull these pranks while pretending to be all sweet and innocent. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Come on now, what's wrong with that? Who says that being cute and innocent means you can't pull pranks? Back me up, Xiangling. Totally, Yunjin. Golba pulls pranks on me all the time, too. All right, all right, you win. <laughs> Beidou needs to do something today, so she has asked me to deliver her gift to you. So, here they are! A custom-made dagger, and a score of a composition from abroad. As for my offerings, I have these gold hairpins and iron hair ties, custom-made for you by my family. Iron hair ties? You're telling me that your family used their 1,000 years worth of experience to make hair <laughs> ties? What's the problem? Hair ties may look simple and unassuming, but they act require a lot of intricate craftsmanship to make. <laughs> My gift is one of a kind. A little while ago, I came across a bespectacled blacksmith on the street. The way he worked and talked, it felt almost like he could see right through stones. I was skeptical, so I asked him to help me make a bet. And when the merchant cracked the stone open, there was indeed a piece of raw jade inside. <laughs> I took the jade on the spot and ground it into a pendant, which I then strung on a cord. You can use it as an accessory. Wow. You made a jade pendant for me? Yeah. Oh, don't wear it around your neck. Put it on your guitar. Every day I see how much you pamper that guitar. So I thought you should jazz it up a bit. <laughs> I don't know if I can bring myself to hang this thing anywhere except in a display case on an altar. Thank you, Xiangling. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> Xiangling has always been thoughtful. 
But the blacksmith you mentioned, who could see through stones, can you tell me more about him? If the story's interesting enough, I might have to put it into my play. I'm not exactly sure, but I hear that he was sick for a while, and was so disoriented during that time that he couldn't remember anything, and felt as if his body didn't belong to him. And then, all of a sudden, he recovered. He's all fine now, except for some reason, he can now tell the difference between valuable and worthless stones just by looking at them. Hmm... That's certainly peculiar. Oh, let's not get into that. The food is getting cold. Let's eat! Hey, what about Wait, everybody Sian, else? Didn't you pick up a trick from an Outlander merchant? The one you taught me on my last birthday. Huh? Oh, you mean making a birthday wish? <laughs> yes, that's the one. They also light candles and cut cakes in other regions. But we didn't have time for that, because we were too busy bringing the food over. It's fine. I can just use my imagination. Okay, let's count to three and you can make a wish. One, two, three. <laughs> hmm. What should I wish for this year? My wish is... Oh, she woke up. Uh, oh, I'm back. What happened? Paimon was just peering through the crack in the door. Given that we are in a mirage, Shinyan, did anything significant happen inside the house? Paimon knows! Paimon knows! She ran into some of her friends who were throwing her a birthday party! <laughs> Yes, I heard all that. I mean, something she did herself. Oh, I made a wish. It's pretty interesting now that I think about it. When I entered the room, I found Shang Ling and Yun Jin, two of my best friends. Oh, they're my friends too. That actually happened in real life. They paid me a surprise visit on my birthday, set a table with delicious food, and persuaded me to make a birthday wish. Xinyan, what was your wish? My wish was to perform with someone completely unexpected. Hmm, I wonder who this unexpected person might be. I've just figured it out. Oh, you already know the answer? Mm-hmm. However, before I tell you the answer, I'd like to see the water veins that flow through the mountains. <laughs> Let's see where we have to fly to. No. Oh. I don't see any water veins. Wait. Alright, let's try flying from here. Anything. Fire hazard. Ooh, let me open it. Let's see if I jump down. Oh wait, was I supposed to hit? Oh, was I supposed to go there first? Yeah, these are let's see. I'll try that. Maybe you had to go there first.
Wait, am I getting this confused? What was... Genshin Impact. Let's, let's start with a small island first. Uh, reverse. Let's see, it looks like a big climb, but let's see if there's an easier way to get there. Try to skip, try to skip all the mobs. We got stairs. Oh, is that it? Is that the piece I need? Get that uh, seashell conch. Okay. Oh. Okay, where's this music thing coming from? Okay. Set, set, and. In chat, Let's see, I don't have that one. This doesn't lock, lock, knock me off the platform. Should be good. So, elevate. Okay, where's this guy? Let's climb up here. Oh, 
four is okay, not that far. Mm. I guess I'll just take that away. So nothing here, right? Nothing there. Any firework materials in here? Is that, okay, wait, is that even on? Perform this to this. Is this. Is it supposed to be facing that way? I'll try it out. Let's see. Da, da, da. Uh, okay. Let's climb up. And we'll do mark this. I'm not sure. Uh, Why would anyone want? <sighs> Get it. It's not my concern. Oh, oh. So let's wait for it to start over since it's already too late now. Alright, we figured out how to. Get in time. You got it. <laughs> Five. Okay. But let's see, where's the where the water seal? Okay. 
Water seals up there, blowing up. What is it getting blocked? Okay, there it is. Crumble. One man's stone is another man's gem. All right, let's double check where this other thing is. Is this one puzzle didn't figure out yet? Where is it taking it to? I can't move anything. Alright, uh, I can't move. Yeah, I can't change anything here. Oh, it disappeared, so maybe it's a uh, fake. Alright, let's head to the other islands. Let's put our port over. Uh, yeah, see so where does the water vein start? Let's start from the bottom. Let's see. So I'm not seeing a water vein. Starts from the bottom first and head up back. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay. What was I shooting at? Oh, okay, I wasn't even trying, but I guess I got it right. Wait, that's it. Go this way. Put it toward. Let's recharge for a bit. Right. Do we? Looks like. Yep, we completed it. I guess we'll let me just get these seashells. They should be close by, right? Wait, so how does that one open? So we're 
Yeah, how does this one open? Agafia, I'm fine. It's just a little stomach ache. All right. Well, I found four apples. You can have them when you're feeling a little better. But the mission. Don't worry about that, Zakar. I'll take care of it. You just head up there and so get a good rest. People. Zakar, don't push yourself. Look, uh, there's a cave over there. Let's go and rest for a while. But I don't see any instruments. Yeah, I don't see any instruments to unlock that cave right up there, right? Is that the only cave that you mentioned? Alright. Looks like a branch. Yeah, yeah. that was... Yeah, I guess I'll figure that out later. Let's... Let's grab the chest now, then we'll go back to, uh... See if we finish that story or not. If it's useful, I'll take it. To move, save recent. Genshin Impact. New notification. Video clip captured. We've done everything we can, but how do we deal with the last two mountains? Let's stick to it. There's gotta be a way. After taking a closer look, it seems to me that most of the island mountains contain water veins and plants in their interior. Those together form a system that connects the mountains with one another. However, now that much of the mountains have collapsed, the connection of plants and water veins is blocked. If we can dredge all the blockages, we'll be able to connect the islands to form the giant instrument oh, described in Albedo's in notes chat. and play music using the islands themselves. Yep, for me to reach my goal, we gotta do this. But first, I'd like to consult the flower. It should know what to do. Yeah, how can I... Okay, I do have it, so I don't need a... Alright, we got the next challenge unlocked, I think. Some of the plants and water veins on the island mountains have been lost. Do you happen to know another way to dredge the blockages? I know someone who can help you with that. Go ask my companion, Frozen Soul, who lives upstairs. Alright, so... <laughs> Wait, what? Do I... Blazing trails? What's blazing trails? I'm not sure what that blocked off. 
So we are starting this in there. <laughs> all right i think we're we'll probably gonna end this here all right thanks everyone for coming out uh let's see let's save recent gameplay to move save recent gameplay <laughs> impact new notification video clip captured yeah might as well leave the domain since i'm not sure what's, what i'm supposed to do uh all right thanks everyone for coming out Gonna ch we'll see if anybody we're able to read anybody else. Alright. Um, let's see. I'm just going to my manager. Alright, thanks Abby for coming out. Thanks uh Platter Boy. Uh TG Spoof Madly for the also for the resub. Let's see who's online. Wait, invitation. Let's see. Alright, we're good. Let's see if anybody else is playing Genshin. I don't see anybody uh, online. Let's see. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll just end it right now. Uh, so thanks everyone for coming out. I uh, hope everyone stay safe. Have a great day, night, or yeah, have a great day or morning, afternoon, or night, evening. Take care and stay safe. Let's go to the ending screen. And then we'll, hopefully nobody pops up. This popular
and stream.